Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Every once in a while I get this question. Are you guys pouring cement on the uh, slab? And I and I answer, no, we're actually pouring concrete. Or, you know, sometimes I get this, what kind of concrete are you using between the joints and the uh, and the block? And, uh, you know, that, that that's mortar. It's, it's a different product. Anyways, um, so I realize that sometimes, you know, it gets confusing to understand the difference between cement, concrete, and mortar, and so on. So I decided to make a video about what actually is concrete. Well, um, concrete is a composite uh, of construction materials. Uh, it's primarily uh, aggregate material, cement, and water. Uh, there, there are a lot of different formulas for the actual concrete depending on the strength and the capabilities that you wanted to do. As a general note, the concrete is made out of you know an aggregate material, uh, which is a you know coarse gravel, could be a crushed rock. Uh, it's, it could is usually limestone or it can be granite. The size will depend on the uh, design, for example, the strength and if the concrete itself is just going to be poured in place or if it's going to be pumped or if it's going to be used with a boom pump or depending on how many days you want the concrete to, to dry. It, it all comes into an account uh, when, you're, when you're understanding uh, the whole how concrete works. But anyway, so uh, for example, you know, a typical mix of concrete could be, you know, cement 2500 PSI with pea gravel, which is only 3 eighths of an inch of content of uh, sand. Now, typically on concrete is uh, we use Portland cement and other types of cementitious materials like uh, fly ash or the slag cement. All these materials serve as the binder to the aggregate. And... Uh, sand will will work as this fine aggregate that will finish the mixture uh, now don't forget that you know concrete also takes uh, water in the mixture and the ratio between the uh, concrete and water uh, or the moisture content ratio which was typically tested by the slump is uh, it enables the concrete to be shaped and then it will solidify and harden uh, as a hard rock concrete itself this process by the way is called the hydration process now also as a general note uh, you have to understand that concrete has a relatively high comp compressive strength but it has a lot less of tensile strength so that is the reason why in construction we usually use reinforced steel uh, rebar in the foundations and retaining walls and so on um, to give them this tensile strength that is required so whatever structure you have built has uh, the capacity to move. So the last thing that I want to talk about that our concrete will have a mixed design and this mixed design will be step stipulated by our structural engineer. So it's very important that um, you pay attention to not only what the structural drawing is required but the specifications of the concrete that you're going to be using when you're working on a structure. Uh, well, that's, that's all I have for this video guys and uh, hope you liked it and uh, don't forget to check out learningconstruction.com and uh, put some comments in the box below. Thank you.